Well, our albums were really starting to take off sales-wise. I mean, Woodward Avenue and Detroit City were literally flying off the shelves in some auto parts stores. So our manager slash accountant, Mr. Jay Benowitz, came to us and said, guys, we have to think about doing something with this newfound wealth. And after careful consideration, a couple of days, we decided that uh, we'd start a chain of pizza parlors. And we'd call this chain Freddy's Pizza in honor of the janitor in Juarez, Mexico, who found our long lost master videotapes in the girls' restroom at, at the elementary school where he worked. The problem arose when we found out that our manager slash accountant, Mr. J. Benowitz, had negotiated a deal with Freddie that paid him over a million and a half dollars a year just to use his name. We thought this was a little excessive, so when we questioned Jay, he assured us that this indeed was the going rate for this type of thing in Juarez, Mexico at the time. Well, needless to say, we couldn't afford to continue to pay Freddy, the janitor, a million and a half dollars to use his name. So, after careful consideration, once again, we decided to change the name of our chain of pizza parlors from Freddy to Bauducos. And with the name change, we had to come up with a new commercial. So, this is what we came up with. Come on girls, let's do this. One, two, one, two, three, go. Well, this commercial ended up costing us over three million dollars to produce. The problem arose when we just could not find the perfect garage to shoot in. I mean, we looked at over 1,284 garages in the United States and Canada, and none of them had exactly the right look, the right chihuahua style, mystique, that we were looking for. Eventually we found the garage. It was perfect. It was located just outside of Paris. And since we were shooting our new commercial in France, we decided that it was appropriate that perhaps we should cast French actresses. Unfortunately, we found out that they didn't speak English. And it took us over six months to teach them good enough English that they could get by in the commercial, which eventually they did at great expense. Well, we feel that we've really captured the Chihuahua style, the Chihuahua creative spirit, and the Chihuahua artistic level that makes our work stand apart.